Hello, this is a demonstration video on how to use PhotoFusion. The first thing we're going to do today is to take a quick look at our PSP ACD that you will use to import into PhotoFusion so you can create your composites. As you can see, I've created, duplicated some images and also made my own index file. The main things that you'll need in your index file is volume name, image folder, image file name, last name and first name, and teacher and grade will also be important because that's how you'll structure your information when you create your composites. So what I'll do now is go ahead and open up PhotoFusion and we'll create a new project. And we'll do a standalone and we'll do a composite and I'll call this test comp 4 hit start and I'll do a preset size and I'm gonna pick 8 by 10 but later I'm gonna show you how to change it so we'll go ahead and we'll save as soon as we get our project started here Okay, now I want to go ahead and change the size of our document. So what you'll need to do is right click and click on Canvas Settings. And I'm going to change this to a 12 by 10. And I'm going to give it a quarter inch bleed all the way around. That'll be your safe area. And then I'm going to give it a quarter inch bleed all the way around. Go ahead and click on apply this to page. As you can see now, we have a safe zone. And here is our bleed area. So now what I'll show you how to do is to import your PSPA CD. So you go to File, Import PSPA CD. And mine's on the desktop. So you can just click on that, select your index.txt file. And when you import, you can also right click on these and change the information of how you want that imported. I'm not going to change anything on mine. So I'm going to go ahead and import. And Loot PhotoFusion will create a default location for you to put, put the images. So I'm just going to leave it here and click OK. So now it's imported 94 records and 94 students are missing teacher information which is typical because I didn't have anything in there so we could pretty much just ignore this for now and we'll click OK. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure the school tab is selected then I'm going to select all press control A on this and it'll highlight everybody and we need to make this into make everybody into a student so that way it sets a priority of five and it gives it a department of students for everybody. So now what we can do is go to the create tab and we'll add a yearbook panel and we can add a grade. We'll do ninth grade because that's all of my students in there are ninth grade. We'll click apply and that will generate a composite for us. So what we can do to clean this up a little bit, I want to get rid of this header so I'm gonna go right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and backspace that and then I'm gonna go back and increase our columns and our rows or probably decrease just so I get bigger images and I'm gonna move these underneath the student and we can do that by going here and changing the style so the labels are under the image so there we go and it looks like it four of my students went to the next page so I just need to go back to my page one and increase my columns.
and that'll bring everybody back. So now what I want to do is I need to knock a few of these images out so I can put the name of the school And I'm going to increase my rows here so I get this bottom one. Um, and I want this bottom row to be centered. So what I'll do is right here under layout and last row, I'm going to give it an alignment of center. So now what I want to do is put a text box in here. and I'll set this background as my canvas so that way we have a nice looking composite background here and you can change these out as as much as you'd like and I'm gonna add some clip art to it so I'll go to gallery and I'll go to Lumapix clip art and I'll go to interest and activities and I'll just go to art and I'm just going to include a pencil here pretty big pencil colored pencil and this is just to give you an idea of how to add images to your canvas for instance this could be your logo it could be your school mascot it could be whatever you'd like so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that text box and it came up down here and I'm just going to put the year enter so now I'm just going to click up here to get my text frame again then we added a text box up here now I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of the school now I'm just going to make this smaller so it fits my name here and I want to change the font on this um, let's see and I want to give it a different color here there we go okay so now here's my composite Looks like it's just about ready to go, but um, I want to get rid of these images here at the bottom. I'm sorry, the uh, I want to get the get get rid of the names because um, that was one of the requests. So what we'll do is we'll go to the ABC section, and we can just highlight in the font area, and we can backspace that, and that'll go ahead and get rid of our names underneath. So, and we can add those back fairly easily by doing that. And I think this covers just about everything because we already have our students imported and we already have our teachers and students located on the page. So now the last thing we need to do is save the file.
call ours test comp 5 and we'll save it. Now we need to upload it to Marathon Press. And I am not going to view warnings and errors. I'm going to click on continue to output. And I'm going to send it to publisher. And it's going to be a flattened file. And continue to output. So what this does is it renders our project as a PDF. And then it packages it. And then it can be uploaded to Marathon Press. So this is just notifying us um, to upload the file. Just go ahead and close the window. Files uploading. That's all there is to it. This concludes the demonstration on how to up how to use the uh, PhotoFusion composite edition and how to upload your files. If you have any questions or need to get registered to use the PhotoFusion composite software, please call Marathon Press at 1-800-228-0629.